All right, guys, so we're out here on the road again. I decided to come out and do another little ride along. I know it's been a little bit since I've done one. So right now, it's 103 degrees right now here in Texas. But hey, I'm still out here trying to provide this content for you guys. So I appreciate you guys subscribing, being part of the channel. I can't tell how much it means to me. There are a couple of things I want to talk about, but the rest of it, we're just going to see what happens. We're going to go out here and ride a little bit. We're going to see what, uh, what this ride brings us. So, hope you guys enjoy it. So I guess the first thing let's talk about is, is stale green light. So, well, first of all, let's watch this truck here. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to the ride a little bit, give him some room. Give me a little more uh, buffer in case you want to come over. But uh, that green light there. So let's talk about stale green lights. I know you guys know what that means. That means your personal green light that you can tell that it's been green for a while. It can change any time. So on those, when I'm approaching those and I feel like, like that, uh, I will check my rear view mirror. I want to see how close the car is behind me. That way I know if I have time to stop or not if it turns red on me. Now if I look behind me and the car looks like it's pretty close, may not be able to stop in time if I have to do some type of quick stop, then I'll know I need to roll on the throttle and try to make it through that green light. I have a better chance of rolling on the throttle trying to get through the light than getting rear-ended. But the thing is guys is that you have to know that before it happens. Because when it's happening you don't have time to look your mirror and make your decision. As I'm riding, I'm looking, I see it, I already know in my mind, if this turns green now, this is what I'm doing. I'm one step ahead of the game, and that's how you have to be. It's very, very important. Now you see here, I left my space here behind this car, checking my rear view mirror. You want to give yourself distance, that way, if a car behind you not stopping, you have room that you can pull off. I see a lot of riders get sucked up right behind the bumper of the next car, I mean, behind the car in front of them. And you're dead in the water, man, if somebody's not stopping behind you. Also, I, I need to, you need to know your skate path is before as well. So I know now I got more room on the left than on the right. I can make it through the right, but I'm lined up on the left side of the car. So that'd be a hard maneuver to try to go across to the right to get to that gap there between the white car and that Suburban. So for me right now, as I was stopping, I would shoot over to this uh, left turn lane only and try to get up ahead and let it hit the car in front of me instead of hitting me. Now that's going to vary depending on the situation, right? But the point is we let this car move over, the blinker's on, I'm going to move him over. I don't know if he sees me or not. That's another thing guys, don't play chicken with these cars, you won't win. You will not win that battle. So if you see something like that, go ahead and let him get in front of you. That way I don't have to worry about it. Because if not, as I'm trying to pass this car, he may come over on me. I'm just putting myself in, a, in jeopardy. Why? There's no point. I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere. The point is you want to get where you're going. Now most of the time, I will ride in the left lane. I know it's a lot of this probably because, you know, at work, as you make traffic stops and stuff, uh, it's easy to make a U-turn on a vehicle that's going off direction if you're in the left lane. So that's kind of why I ride in the left lane. Also, if I ride in the right lane right now, see all these driveways that's on the right? So there could be a car even on those driveways. There's more things you have to look for. Uh, cars coming out of driveways when you're on the right like this. We have a lot of cars. So with me being on the left and on the left uh, lane, I just got to worry about cars, you know, coming over into my lane. But I can deal with that. But it didn't. It didn't. There's no right or wrong, right? It's just preference. Uh, always try to set yourself up for success, no matter what you choose. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with being in that right lane. You just have to be aware there's a lot of driveways for cars to pull out on. Now car turn the left, I look at the driver, I look at the tires of the car. I know I did a videos on this before, but it's very important. I look at the tires of the car. Because the tires of the car is a dead giveaway what that car is going to do. It takes the guesswork out of it. Now we go to these crashes at work and, you know, if the driver can talk to us, normally they tell us, man, I never saw the bike. And the motorcycle rider, if he can talk to you at the time, would normally tell us, man, they're looking right at me. So I think where we drop the ball is that because they're looking in our direction, we assume that they see us. But we really don't know what they see. So I use the tires of the car. I related to, like, uh, when I played basketball and football, they teach a good defender to look at the midsection, right, of the body. 
because the body can't move and let the midsection moves. And then you don't go for all the ball fakes and all that. Same concept. If the tire's moving, the car's moving. If the tire's not moving, the car's not moving. It's no guessing, at least for that moment in time, right? You have to be ready for the car, you have to be ready for the car to start moving at any time. But for that moment in time, I know what that car's doing. Now I use the tires of the car for cars turning right. I use the tires of the car for a lot of things. The thing is guys, the more you can predict something's gonna happen, the better chance you have in overcoming it. Because when we get surprised about things, we do crazy things, right? So it's all about predicting. That way when it happens, you already knew what's gonna happen and you're able to respond quicker with better decisions that way. So again, this car is turning left right here. So I see it. I'm looking right now at the driver in my direction. I'm looking at the tires of the car all the way till I get past that car. Now you can get in there, you can, as you're approaching it, you can you can swerve over in your lane, uh, cover your horn, cover your brakes, whatever you think you need to do to get through that situation, do it. There's no wrong thing really. Now a lot of people ask me about flashing the headlights. You can do that too. But the only thing I caution about flashing the headlights is that could be misunderstood as the driver, uh, misunderstood for you telling the driver to go. So if you do that, just be aware that that could be misunderstood. So you see here, it's gonna get a little busy here. You see that arm ramp to my left? All those line of cars, so you gotta be careful with that. So I'm already looking at spacing. You can see there's a there's not that much space between the cars, so, and I know this road pretty good. So a lot of these cars, see, like this wagon here, a lot of these cars wanna go from that lane all the way across, so you gotta be ready for that. So I'm gonna let him over. See what I mean? There's three of them right now that are doing what I just said. So part of predicting is knowing the roads that you're on and the driving tendencies of the cars. See what I mean? There was four cars now that went from there all the way across, just like I just said. That's common for that area. So because I know that, I expect it, I can plan for it. And again, I'm stopping here, leaving my space. Now I want you to do that, I'm gonna give you some homework. So the next time you go out, I want you, to, and you stop behind a car like this, I want you to look and see how much space you have on, on either side. Now this here, I'm good again, right? I got a free lane on my left. There's a lot of times here where, you know, in Texas, everybody has big trucks, uh, big dualies. And so a lot of times when I stop, I have no room on either side. If I'm in the middle lane or let's say whatever, uh, and there's cars on both sides, I have no room. It could be a big truck in one, taking up a lot of lane. Could be a car that's in the lane that's more on, on the inside of the lane, which takes away some of my the, the gap between the cars. But I figure all this out as I'm approaching the cars. And then when I stop, I know, man, I have no escape path this time. So if somebody was not stopping behind me, you have to do something, right? You just can't get rid of it. So maybe I jump off the bike. You, whatever it is, you have to have a plan. But again, if you don't figure that out before you get stopped and before it's happening, you're not gonna be able to process it fast enough. So something to think about too, leave your space, but you may not always have an escape path. You may not always have an escape path. Nobody really talks about that. So you have to come up with the game of uh, uh, plan C, right? Can't go right or left, what's plan C? Like I said, maybe I just jump off the bike. I just cannot see through and get rid of it, but you have to have a plan. If you wait till, till it's too late, you're gonna be like a deer in headlights and it's not gonna work out too well most of the time. And guys, again, this is what I do, right? Everybody has their own experiences. Everybody has their own way of, of processing things. And I'm just sharing with you what I do. Uh, maybe you're doing some of the same things. Maybe it's stuff that you used to do, you need to start back doing, or maybe it's stuff that's new to you. So again, I wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything that you're having problems with, let me know. And I'll see if I can help you. So now guys, until next time, you got it. Practice, 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 and ride safe.